What's going on you guys? Uh, today I'm going to be showing everyone how to get Siri on your <coughs> um, iOS device um, other than the iPhone 4S. Uh, this supports the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, and the iPod Touch 4th generation. So, yeah, that's basically what this is going to do. It's going to put a full working Siri on your older iOS device. And this also will work on your iPad 2, but I can't show you that because I don't have my iPad 2 jailbroken, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So right now I'm using an iPod Touch 4th generation for this. So, what you guys need to do first is go into Cydia. And yes, I am off the iOS 6 beta, but I will get back onto it um, as the next beta comes out. So, I will have a review up of that later. So, but what you guys need to do is go into Sources, and go to Edit, Add, you need to add this source. You need to add repo. It's hard to type through the camera. And I'll type it off camera and then show you guys. But it's repo.seriport.ru right there. And you hit add source. And then it's going to update the source list and download all the data that you need. Okay, let it finish reloading the data. And you'll see now you have this repo down here called SiriPort.ru repo. So what you need to do is now click on that and scroll till you see SiriPort original right, right there. Tap on it. And then you can read all the information on it if you need. So then when you're ready, hit install. and now it's going to install the Siri port. Uh, this process is going to take a fairly long time so oops, I will be back um, after the installation process is complete and then I will show you the next steps you need to do after you are done installing Siri port. So I will be right back. <coughs> okay now, Siri has been installed, so once you've done that, it's going to ask you uh, to reload your springboard. So you want to go ahead and do that. So let it go ahead and reload the springboard real fast. There we go. Ooh, that plug turned the power on real quick. Okay, losing battery. Okay, but once you've done that, let me open it, and then you need to go into settings, <clears throat> scroll all the way down until you see SiriPortRU.Original, go ahead and click that, and then what you need to do is install the certificate, and what this does is it installs a proxy server which allows you to, it goes through Google I believe, and it allows you to use Google's internet service, or not internet service, but basically their service to get feedback um, for your requests. So it's pretty cool. So, but what you, yeah, you need to install the certificate. So once you do that, it's going to take you to SiriPort RU uh, website, or this is where you actually install the certificate. So then you need to tap on that. It's going to say it's going to open a new window. Hit OK. It's going to click over there. Now it should flip back and go here. Um, it is going to say not trusted, as you see here, but that is not a big deal. That is basically just a glitch, because once you hit install, it's going to say uh, that it is trusted. So, 
go ahead and uh, hit the install button right next to that. Get the blue install button, and there you go. See, now it says it's trusting. So, because it downloaded all the necessary files that were needed. So, and then you hit done. I'm going to take you back to the website, which we do not need to do. You can go ahead and close that window now. I had two open, which is weird. Okay, but now you need to go back into settings, go back out of the proxy server, go up to general, and you now see that you have a Siri section that you just like on the iPhone 4S. So what you need to do is open that, turn it on, hit enable, and then when you go back into the general menu, oh, actually it didn't, that's pretty good. But normally, if you're first time installing this, if you hit the general and then go back into Siri, it will be disabled for some reason. But in this case, I'm surprised that it's not, so that's actually good. So now the next step is to actually try Siri out and see if it works. So you hold the home button. It's kind of laggy on the iPhone for the iPod Touch 4th generation. So, hi Siri. And it might, yeah, it's going to tell you that there's something wrong the first time you do it. So you might have to um, do a reboot, which I'm going to go ahead and do now, just to uh, make sure that everything's working. So I suggest you guys do the same. Um, if that happens to you right there, if it tells you that, oh, sorry, that it can't take any requests, just go ahead and reboot your device and try again. And if you're still getting that, um, go ahead and reboot it reboot okay but yeah if you keep getting that message that it was giving me just a little bit ago um, just go ahead and keep trying to say hi Siri because you have to keep saying hi Siri uh, for it to be activated that's kind of like the keyword to activate it or something but you just got to keep saying that until you get it to actually work and if you can't get it to work even after trying several, several times, um, there may be a problem with SiriPort's um, server. So you'd have to go to their website and check if their server is online. And if it is, then I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I don't really know if what else I could help you on there. But I'm going to go ahead and try it again. I hope that it works. I mean, there's no guarantee that it will, so I might have to try it several times. I'll do that off camera. Hi, Siri. Oops, I didn't catch my voice. Hi, Siri. Yeah, it's not going to do it. But, if this happens, you just got to keep trying. That's just the thing about these Siri ports, that it ne you never... Uh, there's never this guarantee that it will work so hi siri there's something wrong okay yeah it's not gonna work for me right now unfortunately but like i said if this is doing if this is what's happening with you guys just do what i said keep trying to say hi siri several times and check their website to see if their server's running and everything so I will make another video showing Siri up and running and show you what you can do with it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button right there. Thumbs up the video. And comment below if you have questions or comments or anything like that. So, yeah, thanks for watching again and peace out.